Hi guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my uh, CVS couponing haul for the week of 7-8 through to 7-14. I'll admit now it is a tiny haul. Um, I'm not feeling particularly well. I didn't even want to go couponing at all, but I wanted to get something out for you guys. Um, so I just did two very small deals, one money maker and one just pretty small deal on cosmetics because I had beauty bucks that were going to be expiring. So that's why I went out. So I apologize if I sound a bit off today. I'm just not feeling 100% and um, yeah. So um, I'll show you the deals in a minute. I do want to give you a heads up that I probably won't be doing a couponing haul next Sunday because I'm going to be traveling, visiting my in-laws in Atlanta. And I just don't think I want to take all my couponing stuff with me. Um, my ECBs are set to expire the 17th and that's the day I get back. So if I do a haul, it's probably going to be that Wednesday. So I apologize in advance that there'll be nothing going up in terms of hauls. I will try and get all my actual previews and must do deals. Um, deals of the week up before uh, while I'm away but I just probably won't be able to do a haul because I won't have a car I won't be able to go shopping and it's a bit awkward to say to your in-laws can you go take me couponing so that being said um, let's take a look at what I got today and let's start with usual the CRTs I got so I did not get uh, a lot of good CRTs today that's also one of the reasons why I didn't do as many deals the only one I used was the three off of 12 cosmetics um, but these are the ones I ended up getting. Most of them were manufacturers ones. I only had like three that were CVS ones and given all the issues I've had in my store, I just didn't, wasn't in the mood to try and work out other deals where I knew they probably wouldn't work half the time. I'd have to fight and I just wasn't feeling up to it and there wasn't anything that great anyway. So I got the three off of 12 cosmetics, then um, the ones are printing for everyone, the two off of two L'Oreal um, hair, dollar off Tylenol, a um, dollar and fifty off Colgate and the two off of two Fructis. Um, then I got a two off of two Gliss um, shampoo, conditioner, or treatment. Two off of seven Oral B. A dollar off Excedrin. Um, Four dollars off. They keep pushing this one on me. The Chapter Hair, Skin, and Nails with Biotin Vitamin. Three off of nine Herbal Essences Bio Renew. Four off of fourteen Pantene. I definitely wasn't going to use these because they were the ones I had issues with last week and then a three off of two got to be. So those are the ones I got this week. Nothing fantastic. And as I said, because most of them said manufacturer, I just wasn't in the mood to deal with that today. So I didn't and I didn't end up using the CRTs we got last week. So that Elmay one went to waste, but that's okay. So that was the CRTs I got. Um, so I did one transaction day. I didn't even need to split them up because I wasn't getting that many items. But the first item I got was the Pestel. Now this is probably the deal of the week anywhere. So you do need to get the um, Persil Power Caps, not the liquid. So they are the same price. They are $4.94 at CVS. We got a $3 off one coupon in the 7-8 Retail Me Not. If you did not get that coupon, they are on coupons.com at the moment as well. So print one out. And I believe there is one in the clip to card. There definitely was at Walgreens. I didn't try it at CVS, but there might be as well. So you'll pay $1.94 out of pocket. And then Saving Star has a rebate for $3 back on this as well. So the same as the coupon. Mine did say CVS only, so I'm assuming yours will probably as well, which is why you want to do it at CVS. So you'll get $3 back. Um, usually with CVS, they make you link your card. That's how mine works. And then a few days later I get the rebate so after I get the three dollars back this will be a dollar and six cent money maker so that's just free laundry detergent plus a little bit of money back not too bad so definitely do that deal and then the only other deal I did this week was the fake ECB spend 30 get a ten dollar extra buck back and I did the CoverGirl cosmetics because as I said I had that three off of 12 um, cosmetics CRT and it just sort of seemed to the only one I could do because I knew I had higher value manufacturer coupons so I picked up four items to reach the $30 fresh threshold. I actually did $29.66, but that's fine with the 98% rule. So as long as your store does that, you'll be fine. So I picked up two of the Flourish mascaras and these were $9.29 each um, full price, but it is also buy one, get one 50%. So the second one came down to $4.64. And then I picked up a CoverGirl True Blend liquid makeup. Um, this is not the matte one. So the matte one I had from, well, Mart, which I'm loving. This is just the normal one, so hoping it's just as good. This was $10.49, and then the powder was also $10.49, so the second one of these came down to $5.24. So the total, as I said, for all four items was $29.66, so that hits the 98% rule. I used my three off of 12 cosmetic CRT, which took it down to $26.66, and I felt fine using this because I knew even after manufacturer's coupons, it was still going to be more than $12, so I wasn't going to have any issues with my cashiers today. I used two of the $3 off one Flourish coupons and two of the three off one True Blend coupons, which are all in the 624 Smart Source. 
So that took off $12, taking it down to $14.66. For spending $30, you get a $10 ECB, and that did print out even at the 98%. So that's that one there. So that makes it $4.66, or just $1.16 each, which is again, um, not a bad price. However, because this was enough for me to hit beauty, I was $28 away from beauty, and this was $29 and something, and it's four cents, 40 cents away from beauty anyway. So as long as you have more than 40 cents tracking towards beauty, you'll hit beauty. So I'm gonna say I got $2.96 back, making it $1.70 out of pocket, or just 42 cents each. And I think 42 cents, um, the cover girl is not a bad price and I am a fan of the true blend range so I'm happy to try those out and these ones will go into future giveaways so my total out of pocket for all five items was $34.60 I had that three off of 12 cosmetics CRT which took it down to $31.60 I used $15 in manufacturer coupons making it $16.60 I earned 10 ECB making it $6.60 I rolled three dollars in ECB, or two ninety six, making it three dollars and sixty four cents. And then I'm going to earn three dollars back on Saving Start, making it sixty four cents out of pocket plus tax. Um, tax for me was a dollar eighty one, so that made it two dollars and forty five cents for all five items, or just forty nine cents each, which is a fantastic deal. I actually ended up rolling a dollar more than I got back, just because that was the ECB values I had. So I'm, it's not going to look the same on my receipt if I show you. So it will show you I paid a little bit more, uh, but a little bit less than what it works out as. But um, that's just because I had an extra ECB to roll. And for the first time today, I actually got a CRT on the end of my receipt. I've never got one of these before. Um, it expires next Sunday, so I have next Sunday to use it or this week. And it's an eight off of 60. Probably not going to use it just because there wasn't a lot of deals this week to get up to $60 to begin with and I'm not gonna be couponing next Sunday. Um, so unfortunately, probably not really that useful um, this week, but it's interesting that I'm starting to get those because I've never got them before. And yeah, so that was um, what I got at CBS, guys. As I said, it's a really small haul. I just didn't think the deals were there unless you had the CRTs, which is pretty much what I advised you in the early ad preview and the deal matchups that most of the deals this week did require CRTs to make them actually good deals. Um, so if you don't get them, you can't do the deals and that's fine. I do have like $30 of ECBs expiring next week. So um, I'm gonna have to do some deals or just spend them anyway. But other than that, I think next week is gonna be better anyway. I did put up my early ad preview yesterday for you. So if you are keen to check out what is coming up from the 15th through to the 20, uh, 20 no 21st, um, go check that out and I'll tell you what deals in that video, what deals are good and what CRTs you may wanna um, not use this week and save for next week instead. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share or comment below. If you've not yet done so, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. And if you are a subscriber, make sure you've got that bell icon clicked so you're notified every time I post a new video. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.